Does getting traffic equal having a business? Hey guys, it's Diane Hockman, and um, you know, I, I always watch the trends out in the marketplace. I'm always paying attention to what's going on, and, um, you know, what people are saying. And there's a trend going on right now that I, I just have to make comment on. There's a lot of people that are training all kinds of techniques about getting quote unquote traffic, traffic to your blog traffic to your capture page, whatever. And some of the methodologies that they're teaching, um, they're teaching writing, um, you know, keyword-driven reviews of companies, keyword-driven reviews of opportunities, of systems, of, um, you know, leaders in the industry and so on. And then they're teaching to then add a video to that and so on, and, and, and create this, this web of information, all based on what, in my opinion, is inauthentic reviews of companies. Um, if you have an agenda, okay, if, you, if you're with a particular company and you have an agenda, I have an agenda, guys. Everybody has an agenda. I have an agenda. Um, I'm involved with certain things. I also own my own training company, and I do training of my own, etc. I have an agenda. So if I'm going around reviewing the competitors as my method of driving traffic, is that, is that true? Is it authentic? Or am I doing reviews, one, so I can capture you know, their, their web traffic um, and then drive people back to what I'm doing? Is it... You know, I'm at a loss for words, and when I'm on video, I try not to be, and usually I edit it out, but I'm, I'm at a loss of words because there's been so many trends, and there's been so many things, and everybody taught you how to do all this stuff. I mean, look at Twitter, man. Twitter was like, oh, Twitter, Twitter, you got to do Twitter, and there's a million ebooks and courses, and everybody took out their wallet and doled, you know, doled out their cash and, and took out their credit card to buy a Twitter course. Look at Twitter, man. Ashton Kusher, who was like Mr. Big Twitter, uh, you know, he's on Larry King Live. He's, he's quitting Twitter. Um, and Twitter isn't all the rage, and Twitter isn't all the traffic, and Twitter isn't all the, the you know, the be all end all. And before that, Facebook, and before that, MySpace. There's always a trend. When will you realize that those trends do not equate to a business? Yeah, there's different techniques that you can use that will help bring more people to you. But a trend and listening to people that are teaching trends, um, you know, or a fad. Maybe I should say a fad. A fad is probably the better word. The fad was this. The fad was that. The Internet, there's going to be a new fad every week. And um, just because you went to a webinar and one guy used article marketing and he generated, you know, 112 leads in a day, um, once everybody starts using that same exact technique and doing the same thing and writing reviews on things that they really have no knowledge about and don't care about, um, then the internet becomes polluted with inauthentic, keyword-driven articles, videos, content, whatever, that in the end, people are smart. People are smart and they know that it's not real. See, what we're forgetting when we listen to stuff like that is that human beings are intuitive and human beings can feel um, intention from a mile away. Human beings know what's true and what's not true. And while you may get more traffic to your blog and maybe you'll even sell a few affiliate products and maybe get a couple more conversions than you did before and jump up and down and think that this is working, in the end, does it give you a business? Is it a business plan that you could take to the bank if you were looking for financing? Is it a, oh, I'm going to do Twitter. That's my business plan. I'm going to write articles and review companies and try to steal the people from, you know, from over there to come over here. And I'm going to, you know, and, and, and I have keyword driven content. Is that a business plan? Would anybody outside of, of this little, little sphere even recognize that as being something real? And then here's the question to ask yourself. And they throw stones at me, they get mad at me, people don't like me when I say this stuff. But here's the question to ask yourself. Is what you're working like an animal on now going to be here in six months or a year? Is what you're working like an animal on now going to serve you in six months or a year? Is the list that you're building with those list builders that they sold you, is the list that you're building with these techniques, going to bring people closer to you, have them trust you, 
and have them work with you long term? Or is it going to bring in a bunch of people that in three months will look over there and they'll see that the grass is greener and they'll look over there and they'll go for the new fad? Are you basing your family's income and your future on a fad? Or are you basing your family's future on time-tested business principles that step outside of network marketing and the internet and go back to Home Depot, go back to supermarkets, go back to Starbucks. I want you to think about it. And I want you to think whether you understand the true principles of business or a hokey internet marketing trick that'll be here today and gone tomorrow. Hey guys, I do free training every single week, all kinds of webinars, videos, and stuff. Stop by dianehockman.com, get on the list, you know, watch the site, lots of content and stuff. And if I can be of service to you, you feel free to get a hold of me. Guys, 2010 and beyond, the new money is in the love revolution. The new money is in authenticity. The new money is building bands of zealots that sit and wait to hear from you and then you build them so that they build a band of their own zealots. The new money is not in hits, clicks, and analytics. The new money's in people. Watch. Mark my words. Come back and see me in two years and see if I didn't tell you so. I'll see you guys later.